Hello, welcome to this fourth and final round of the regular season of Dice Football. The AFL has been around to my house and ticked it off as a safe venue to play this game, but not before drinking all the beers out of my fridge, which is a bit of a shame. We're about to see the Tigers take on the Swans. It has been a season to forget for Richmond. And I think they've brought in the big gun way too late, but it's nice to see Tom Lynch get his first role. A classic great defender versus great forward because Rampy comes in for the Sydney Swans. Pride on the line for the Tigers. The Swans a chance to make the top eight. Plenty to play for. It's Saturday afternoon, Dice Football. Huge game, this one, man. A chance to talk to the Richmond Star, I believe. Tom Lynch, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Andy. Thanks for having me on board. It's uh, very exciting. Am I right in saying that you were trying to learn a language during isolation? <laughs> I, I tried for about half an hour and then deleted the app. <laughs> Well, you can give us the scores in Spanish a little later on. That'd be fantastic. We'll head north now to Sydney as Dane Rampey is standing by. You there, Dane? I am. Thanks for having me, Andy. Good to see you. Great to see you. Uh, First up, question. Do you have a goalpost in your backyard so you can practice climbing it? No, I've got nothing. I'm in an apartment block up here, so uh, we don't have as much space down as down in uh, Melbourne. But... um, yeah, unfortunately not. Uh, I think you're in good stead for today's game. Oh, there's the warning siren. So we'll get the two captains together for the toss of the coin. Standing by, I think there's Lucas, uh, sorry, Lucy and Angus. Are you there? Yes. Yep. Great. What numbers have you got on your back, guys? I've got the premiership Guernsey, so no numbers. I don't have any numbers, but I have Tom Lynch's autograph. Oh, great. Well, you could upgrade those jerseys at any point. What's the number you'd suggest, Tom? Uh, 19, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it might go that direction. All right, who's got the coin? Is it Lucy or Angus? Angus, I've got the coin. Okay, good man. It's your call, Dane. A toss away, buddy. Heads. Tails. Tails, it means it's a Richmond win. You guys can celebrate. <laughs> Please with that. Tommy Lynch, what are you going to do? Are you going to send in a Sydney to roll first or are you going to take this game by the scruff of the neck? Uh, Dane can roll first. They can roll first. We'll look to prepare for this first quarter. What a clash this will be. The Tigers versus the Swans. Quarter one about to get underway. It's a shame that the AFL is returning because I printed 7 million ADFL footy records for this weekend. And, uh, yeah, it's the end of the season. Uh, Dane's got his hands on the dice early. Off you go for a roll for the Swans, mate. Rampy. 3-1. Maybe he is a swing man. It's not bad. Not bad at all. 19 points. Tommy Lynch loves getting around the goals. What can Richmond do in reply? 6-4. He's always tough to stop. 6-4-40 plays Sydney Swans. 3-1-19. A handy 21-point lead to Richmond as we head into the quarter time break. Fast starting Tigers uh, has been the case over the last few seasons and uh, it's time for Tommy Lynch to roll first for this second quarter. Can the Tigers extend their lead? 4-1. I think there's a light out at the MCG. It looks like there's a bit of a shadow, but I'm right in saying 4-1. 4-1, yep. 4-1, 25 points the quarter. Takes him to 10, 5, 65. Good start. <laughs> Rampy, what can he do in reply? 3-3. Another mini win for the Tigers. They extend their lead. 10-5, 65 the score now. 6-4-40. A 25-point buffer as we head into the halftime break. Halftime now as we get a chance to go down to the Sydney rooms. It looks like Horse Longmire is having a word with Dane. Let's see if we can listen in. Yeah, I know. Jesus. <laughs> hey. Mate, no, you're done. Ooh, seems like a bit of petulance. I'm glad you're not in the same room. I can see horse ordering an Uber. All right, uh, back to the game now. The scores at halftime are uh, Sydney 6-4-40, trailing Richmond 10-5-65. What did uh, Longmire say at halftime, Dane? Yeah, he's giving me a spray. He's got plenty to say now, so... <laughs> I regret, I regret him not saying anything beforehand. Yeah. Well, let's see if it works. You've got your hands on the dice across half back. You're always a very good user of the dice. Off you go. Oh. <laughs> it's one, two. Only the eight points. Tom's got a smile on his face. 
We've seen him up and about at the G before. Go, buddy, have another roll. And the big tiger <laughs> extends the lead. 4-4, 28 points for the corner. Richmond extending their lead for 93 ahead of Sydney. 7-6-48. Final quarter now. I imagine uh, Tommy's thinking about Mad Monday because they're not going to make the finals. Or will he continue to get the job done? It's your role first, bud. Yeah, obviously, uh, one quarter to go for the year, so hopefully you've won. Yeah. Five Gs. Five, double five Gs. The sponsors will be wrapped. <laughs> five Gs. 35. A huge finish. I thought you put the cue in the rack, but no. Dane... Percentage may play a part for Sydney if they're to make the finals, so you've got to give us a good roll here. All right, fingers crossed. One, four. That sums it up. I hope you've got a partner there to come in and give you an absolute dressing down. Where's the closest mirror in that house? Uh, oh, quite a while away. I need to go have a good hard look at it. <laughs> Yeah, go have a good hard look at it, buddy. As the Richmond theme song, it echoes out for the first time this Telstra ADFL season. Tommy, they brought you in too late. Yeah, I was, I was itched, Dimmer. I said play the first week. He said, no, we're going to wait for it. Wait for it, and they should have uh, played me earlier, unfortunately. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, they'll live and learn, obviously, uh, when the documentary comes out. That'll be a crucial part of the Richmond story. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, the scores again, 19-14, 1-2-8. Defeating, that's Richmond defeating City 8 10 58. AFL.com.au forward slash dice footy for any of the other games you may have missed. We'll catch you for the next one.